over the past several years that Robert Harris and I have worked together on music projects, I've always suggested to him that I have great disappointment in never having learned to play a musical instrument. So for the next several weeks, we are going to learn, I'm going to learn to play the piano. What you think playing the piano is, is wrong. Yes. And the reason you think it's wrong is that everybody thinks it's wrong. People think that playing the piano means that you're going to sound like Glenn Gould or you're going to sound like, mm. you know, Rachmaninoff. And, Earl Hines. Yes, whoever. And you, you might, but, <laughs> you, but there are other ways of playing the piano that are equally satisfying and equally valuable. And I want us to play anything that comes to your mind based on... To be or not to be. What do you mean? What I mean is to be or not. That's beautiful. You made music. <laughs> See, I was right and you were wrong. So is that playing the piano? Is that playing a, is a rock monoph concert? Of course not. But is that playing the why, piano? Why, why? Absolutely. So your homework is threefold. Number one, fiddle around with to be or not to be. You know? Yeah. And really go to town on it, boy. Play yeah. both hands. You can't make a mistake. You know why you can't make a mistake? Because it's your music. There's nothing to be, there's no wrong note. Every <laughs> note you play is right. I'm okay. serious. All so right. go for it. All know? right. Number one. Number two, play around with the colors of the instrument. In other words, what, does it, what do the notes sound like down here? What do they sound like up here? Okay, Just that's number that, two. What's number, number three? Play these pattern exercises, and, but for color, yeah, okay. not for speed. All right. That's it.